Hey guys, I wanted to share another interesting topic with y'all, and that is the concept of nationalism. So if we click define nationalism here in Google, it will say, Patriotic feeling, principles, or efforts. An extreme form of this, especially marked by a feeling of superiority over other countries. Advocacy of political independence for a particular country. So, anyways, I wanted to share with y'all this concept of it's superstition, is what it is, to believe that someone is better than another person or that. A country is better than another person because we're really just people living on this earth and the reason that they try to instill this nationalism into us is to make us loyal to the government and so part of it that another way of saying it is define exceptionalism exceptionalism so, one moment while that is drawn for us. Is the perception that a species, country, society, institution, movement, individual, or time period is exceptional, that is, us unusual or extraordinary in some way. So we see how this is a myth. It's, it's really also the concept that came out and, and made it the possibility to become an intellectually fulfilled atheist was Darwinism. And Darwinism was the concept that we're in a struggle for life. Um, it's a battle between individuals, no collaboration, no cooperation. And this was the idea that was put forth in Herbert Spencer's book, The Social Organism, where he came up with the idea of survival of the fittest, which is where government shouldn't stand in the way of economies because that would prevent evolution. So they started applying this to economies and to nations, and we can see that same sentiment being filled in nationalism and exceptionalism. And now let's look up Americanism. Get out and close the door. Close the door. I'm making a video, Bubba. So it says a word, expression, or other feature that is characteristic of American English. Attachment or allegiance to the traditions, institutions, and ideas of the United States. So we see it in all of these words, and that it is all just superstitious superstitious lies. I mean, it's just outright lies. It's myth. It's legend. That's the original meaning of the word sacrament. So, having or showing a belief in superstitions. And that's how you know nationalism and exceptionalism. And this concept of patriotism is just, it's all superstition. It's all tradition in order to make you loyal to the government. That's why they start indoctrinating you early and they start telling you these lies early is so that you won't be able to see the truth about how the poor, the immigrants, the women, the children are oppressed by these systems which leads me into the reason which I'm gonna name the video is what is the reason for the Constitution? The reason for the Constitution is to protect the elite and I didn't know that. That was a recent finding, and I never understood that until just recently. The Constitution is there to protect the this small consensus group who makes the decisions in America. That's the whole purpose of democracy, which you have been brainwashed to believe was for the majority, when in fact, democracy only protects the minority. That's why they shut down labor strikes. That's why they, the women had so many problems. Even during the time of suffrage, it wasn't to protect black women. It was white middle-class women. And even when it came down to the, the blacks or the immigrants, it was to protect 
them. It wasn't to protect the poor and the um, the people who were disenfranchised and marginalized, and we can see that now. It was to protect the rich and to help them. It's It was acquire wealth. Um, or um, it, I forget exactly how the saying goes, but it was like, acquire wealth, forget all but self. And all of these doctrines that have come out throughout this time, we see how that was always there. It was always there, and we see it in our time. So they put different names to it, you know, in democracy and Democrat and Republicans. But if you look back in Jesus' time, it would be the Sanhedrin and the the Pharisees and Sadducees and the traditions that they had and their unhealthy ideas that they had about nationalism and exceptionalism. And we see how God protected the poor, protected the widow, protected the fatherless. He told you to do good to them, and we see how that all has been kind of brushed aside and because we've been so brainwashed by this system that we live in. and I'm beginning to see it why Jesus hated the traditions, because it took away from actually having a coexistence. It took away from the idea of brothers and sisters and in the Lord and it creates these fights and these tensions amongst people and the government has to keep it that way because it's there to guard a small minority of people the extremely rich from the masses and that's why the book the crisis of democracy was written is because it's a crisis once black people start standing up for their rights once Mexicans start standing up for their rights once poor start standing up for their rights, once women start standing up for their rights, that is the crisis of democracy in that book written by the Trilateral Commission. And the answer was to that they were not indoctrinating the young properly. We needed to be properly schooled, not educated, but shut down and have the experts tell us what we should do and what we should think and no longer think for ourselves or become intellectual so and just subscribe to the traditions that's why people blindly celebrate Christmas, Easter, St. Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, um, the Tooth Fairy, the same reason that they blindly follow and fall into the idea of being trained like cattle which is what school is, it's a way of making you more horse-like, and the Bible compares ignorant people to horses, and it, it even says the, it says the word dumbass, talking about that, that ass, because it says, like, rebuke them as in the dumb, like, re being rebuked by the dumb ass. And so, the, the point is, is that even in that saying we have in America, and I know it sounds bad, and excuse me, but when somebody calls someone a dumb ass, that is a reminiscent of that idea is that in the Bible the idea of someone being like a horse is someone being stupid and um, I can't find that particular scripture right this moment but it says that like they're dumb like horses so the reason I'm sharing this with you is that the idea of school is to make us dumb the idea of the Constitution is to protect the rich from the poor and from the masses and keep us disenfranchised and keep us marginalized. I never realized a lot of that stuff till just right here recently, the past month, the past even the past two weeks, I've picked up a lot of these things and began to understand why people are disenfranchised and marginalized and why um, they will kill poor people who are assembling and things like that is because it's all about protecting the the rich from the poor. So I hope this video helps and um, thank you for taking the time to watch and I will see you all in the next video. All right. Bye.